Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, uh, it's um, July 13th, 2023. We are into the third quarter uh, for businesses. Oh man, it feels warm in here. And if I drop the windows, man, the, the, the bugs just... So we're gonna turn the air on. And just uh, let it go for a few minutes. Um, Harvey's ready to get out, he's panting. Are you too warm? Huh? Are you too warm? Anyway, so yeah, it's July 13th, 2023. Uh, it is a Thursday and I'm meeting with my nephew Dan today because I'm going to cut him in for 10% of my IRAs uh, which is really where all my wealth is uh, and we're going to get that done to get his social security number put it into both Vanguard and Fidelity get that done uh, and then notify Amanda, Wesley and Martin not that they care <laughs> I don't think they care even that much <laughs> because if they do it sure is not apparent to me uh, it sure is not apparent to the parent <laughs> Jeez, it's, it's just amazing it's just amazing so anyway so that's going to get done today later today so uh, we're here at the airport and it is like 7.30 in the morning and uh, we're only going to be here for a minute or two I'm going to walk Harvey. That'll be a, a somewhat of a quick walk. Um, here comes a guy walking into the corporate center here. And I'm guessing he's on his way to CTDI. <laughs> uh, you're trying to get to work, dude. More power to you if you're just here to... And he's looking all around him, too. Like, if I was walking to work, I'd have a power walk right now. And this guy's got no pace at all. You know? Maybe he's looking for somebody to give him a ride. I don't know. And there is somebody. Wait a minute. Oh, he just ran right in front of the car. And there is somebody going to give him a ride. Huh. Anyway. I'd be, I'd be busting it to get to work. Because, um... Uh, because of my children. Take care of my children. Provide for them. Uh, <clears throat> nice soft lighting today. Uh, it's humid. The weather is so erratic and unpredictable. <laughs> Don't know what it's going to be from day to day. Uh, there's some haze. It's summer. you know. And it's, there's a lot of typical things about, uh, about the weather now that is uh, lined up with it being summer. A lot of humidity. Uh, we've had some torrential rainfalls, but uh, they had the weather services had a difficult time predicting what was going to happen. And then they they were coming out with uh, air quality warnings. I didn't check for today yet. But anyway, I'm going to take Harvey for a walk. I got to meet nephew Dan later today. I've got to get my workout in. I've got to vacuum and steam the rug at home. Get that done. And Kim Herschel with me. Uh, I'm discouraged by you know I have I've kind of str struck up a very moderate friendship with my ex-wife <laughs> and now she's you know and I I reached out to Kim Herschel Whitman um, who's an, a very old friend we've known each other since the 80s been as long as I've known my ex-wife but she dated a guy that was in a band that I was in and then I just came to know her and uh, she's had a rough Boy, she's had a rough go of things, man. Because she broke up with the guy in the band and started going out with this guy. Wonderful guy. Jim Morton, man. Ah, what a great guy. Uh, just one of those guys you like being around. You know, you're comfortable being around him. He's always... He's got a great sense of humor. And he gets killed. His car broke down on 202. And so he had to get out and start walking. And a car comes up and hits him as he's walking and kills him. I'll say this, the level of carnage on our highways and the lack of anything to mitigate it 
is is abhorrent, abhorrent, a b h o r r e n t. I'll try to look that up. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the right word. It's horrible. It's it's really. It's chilling because nobody gives a damn. It's like nobody gives. Our children, our little young children, are being murdered in their schools, and the NRA is not going to do a damn thing. And forget the politicians. They want to get reelected. They don't care about the kids being killed in the, in the element. They, all they want is to get reelected. That's it. They don't care if what they're doing is good or bad for the constituents. And that turns my stomach. That really is. That and the 40,000 people a year that die on our highways and nobody's doing anything about it. Anyway, I think Elon Musk is doing something about it. He's trying anyway. Uh, anyway, I, wherever you are, I hope you have a safe journey. Uh, when you, you're out on the roads, and everybody gets out on the roads nowadays. I, I, I really don't enjoy driving at all anymore. I consider, when I'm driving, I consider getting from point A to point B a major victory and a relief without having an accident. So that's my r rant on uh, human nature. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm pushed, like when somebody tailgates me, they're, they're creating a hazard, they're threatening me. And whoever else is in my car, that's a threat. Not just a hazard, it's a threat. They're imposing on me, and I don't tolerate it. I just slow down, and then they start honking and flashing their lights and everything. I'm doing the freaking speed limit wherever I am, too, okay? But that's not enough. That's, that's not enough for these bozos. A lot of them on the road. I'm sorry, folks. I hope you have a good day today. And if you're a bozo, try to change, okay? Peace.